First thing is open the box and then take the pad out of the packaging. Next, open the packaging that contains the pin and the battery. To put the battery in the pin, you unscrew the top of the pin. And one side will come off. And place the battery in. Place the side back on. Before you screw the cap back on, you're going to take the lanyard, place it on the end, and then screw the cap to hold the lanyard in place. Take the other end of the lanyard and attach it to the back of the tablet, either the right-hand side or the left-hand side, depending on your preference. Inside the box you also find a sticker. That sticker can be applied at the top of the Mimeo pad and uh, it will help you know what each of those icons at the top of the pad represents. Next take the USB receiver out of the back of the pad and plug that into the back of your computer. You also take the USB cord that's in the box Plug that into the pad and into the back of the computer and this will let your pad uh, battery charge up so that you can use it wirelessly. The small end goes onto the side of the pad, actually the top of the pad. And then the large end plugs into the back of your computer. Once that's done, you'll turn your pad on. You'll notice that there's a number one listed on the LCD screen, and that means that your pad is hooked to the computer. With your Mimeo pad plugged into your computer, the next thing you're going to want to do is install the software. Now, the Mimeo pad has to be plugged in in order for the software to activate, so don't unplug it yet. Double click on your library applications folder, double click on all, and then double click on the Mimeo Studio 6 installation. That's going to run and install the, uh, the software. At the end of the install, an activation window will pop up, which you'll see here in just a second. When the installation is finished, you'll have a pop-up that says, Please activate Mimeo Studio. Click OK on that. And once you do that, the Mimeo Studio should be able to open up. You can click the gallery here and the gallery will come up over on the right hand side of the screen and those are most of the uh, multimedia things that you can use uh, for your lessons and things like that now there's not a, as much in this as we would like so if you come back to your application explorer here and you double click the Mimeo power tools it's going to add more items to your media gallery so let's do that just takes a second for the Mimeo Power Tools to install and you'll notice when that's done if you go back and look at your gallery you'll see that there's a lot more things in the gallery and that's it for the installation